This Edelbrock E4 Stage 1 Street Supercharger with the tuner is for those of you that have a 2012 to 2014 JK that are looking for a way to get some force induction to get a lot more power out of your Jeep. Now, if you've installed bigger tires on your Jeep and you feel like you've lost a lot of power, this is probably not your best first step. What you're gonna wanna do get gears put in your Jeep, get it back to the proper gear ratio, give the engine the proper mechanical advantage over those tires, and that will give you some of that peppy feeling back. But if you've already taken that step and you want even more out of your Jeep, maybe you don't even have big tires on your Jeep and you just wanna squeeze some more power out of it, then forced induction is a great way to go. This kit is going to be a pretty involved three out of three wrenches. There's no sort of major modification, no welding necessary to get this installed in your Jeep, but you are gonna be doing a good bit of disassembly of the engine and reassembly so I'm gonna go three out of three wrenches and we'll talk through the installation just a little bit in just a second so when you're looking at forced induction you have your turbochargers you have your superchargers this is gonna be a supercharger this is specifically a root style supercharger so this replaces the factory intake manifold on top of the engine you also have a centrifugal supercharger that is going to be sort of remote mounted up toward the front of the Jeep and it uses the factory intake manifold so the benefit to a supercharger of this style is that all of that boosted air is getting pushed directly into the engine without any tubing between the compressor and the engine. With the centrifugal style, you do have tubing, not unlike a turbocharger that has to get the pressurized air from the compressor up to the engine, so there can be a little bit of a lag. So this is going to be a little bit more instant as far as when you feel that power. Now, this is going to be a more involved installation because you are pulling the intake manifold. The centrifugal style, you're not having to do that. So definitely pros and cons there. From a price standpoint, they're gonna be pretty similar. This is pretty similarly priced to a lot of the other supercharger systems that you can find really of any different design. Anytime you go with force induction, you're going to be spending a good bit of money. But if that's what you're looking for, I think this is gonna be a really nice kit. So let's talk about what's included in the kit. Of course, you have the supercharger. This is an Eaton Gen 6 1320 TVS supercharger. So this is the sixth iteration of the supercharger. They've made these very, very efficient at this point. Over here, you're going to have your intercooler. This is an air to water intercooler. Of course, you have the part that goes up front, the actual heat exchanger that goes on the front of the Jeep. This is the other part of that. And the idea behind the intercooler, of course, is to cool down the compressed air. As you compress it, it heats up. If you can have cooler air, it's more dense, you can get more fuel and more power out of the engine. And over here, you're going to have your tuner. Now, this is the version of the kit that comes with the tuner. This is gonna come with the SEC tuner, preloaded with tunes that will get you rolling down the road right off the bat. If you already have a tuning device, you wanna have custom tunes built, you can get this without the tuner, but I think for most of you, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and get the tuner with this. That way you can flash the ECU, you can get the Jeep fired up, and you can go drive. This is also going to come with a bunch of other stuff. Like I said, you have the heat exchanger, you have the water pump, you have all of the belts and hoses and other plumbing that you need to get something like this working. Of course, you have a lot of vacuum lines, you have oil lines, you have water lines. There's a lot that goes into making one of these kits work properly, and everything you need is going to be included when you purchase this. So like I said, I'm gonna go with three out of three wrenches on this because you do have to pull the engine apart to get it installed, but it's not actually that difficult to get this done. The first step is to flash the ECU. That way you don't forget, you don't try to start the Jeep afterward with this installed. So you'll go ahead and flash the ECU. You'll disassemble everything on the engine that needs to be disassembled to get this installed. So you're going to have to take off uh, your factory intake tubing. Of course, your intake manifold is gonna come off. Some of the accessories have to come off the front of the engine, including the alternator. You have to make some room up front for that heat exchanger. So you do a bunch of tear down and then you can start bolting everything back together. There's an adapter plate that goes on top of the engine, then your intercooler, then your supercharger. There's going to be uh, belt tensioners, the new belt that you have to put on, all of the plumbing and the wiring that needs to happen to make this thing work has to then happen, and then you can finally start up the Jeep. This supercharger kit, including the tuner, is gonna come in at $5,500. Like I said, I do think that's a pretty fair price for what you're gonna get here. Whether you're looking at root style, centrifugal style, a lot of these are going to be a very similar price. They're gonna be right in the same price range. So if you decide that you like this blower, uh, you like this style of supercharger, I think this is gonna be a really good kit at a fair price. So if you're looking to squeeze some more power out of your JK, I would recommend taking a look at this supercharger kit from Edelbrock, and you can find it right here at extremeterrain.com.